SR-22. So, over the years I've grown to love 22s. I usually didn't pay too much attention to them. This is the very first time that I'm actually shooting this gun. So it won't be a long video. It's kind of like a sneak peek or like a preview of sorts. That's what Peter calls them. I call them first mags. Peter calls them, oh, it's like a preview. Shut up, Peter. Anyway, let's do some shooting. All right, first and foremost about this gun. All right, so this gun has a kind of inverse safety. So I'm used to pulling a gun out and you want to come on this side, Peter. I'm used to pulling a gun out and sweeping down to put the gun on fire. Um, the Ruger SR-22, you sweep up to put it on fire, you sweep down to put it on safe. So sweep up, fire, down, safe. Up. Like I said, it's just something about shooting a 22. It's just so fun, just really fun. And you put this suppressor on there and it just makes it so enjoyable. Um, I know some of you are like, why the hell do you have ear pro on? You're shooting with the suppressor on. Yeah, whatever. It's hot out here. I don't know why I think it's helping the sun not burn my ears off. <sighs> so the Ruger SR-22 is not new by any stretch of the imagination, um, but it's new to me. So therefore it gets a first mag. So this is a hammer fired gun. It is not a striker gun. So as you can see here, you have this hammer, and not only that, it's a double action single. So the safety actually doubles as a decocker, which I think is the reason why they have it inverted that way. Um, like on HKs, what they'll do is you swipe down to take it off safe, but then you swipe even harder down to, to decock it. But that's neither here nor there. Um, so it is, you wanna come around here, Peter. It's a double action single. First pull is gonna be a long, heavy, Pull, and then after that, you get the reset, which is shorter, and then you get a shorter pull. On top of that, this gun is fully ambidextrous. You have magazine release on both sides. You have the safety on both sides. That's pretty much all you need for a gun to be ambidextrous. So that's pretty much it. Um, it does have removable straps. You got these little rubberized, it's like a little rubberized strap out here. I'm sweating, it's hot as hell. Me and Peter are literally getting heat stroke as we film this, but my hands are not slipping off of the gun. This gun has a really good ergonomic about it. It's really small in form, it's very ergo. It feels like what an ergo chair or like a, a Herman Miller ergo chair, whatever. That's what it feels like. It feels like one of those. <laughs> um, of course, you got, the, you got the adjustable rear iron sights. These are actually sitting too high, so the gun's shooting high at the moment. Um, and then, of course, you got Picatinny rail for lights. And um, of course, I got my Bowers Biddy suppressor on there, as you can see. The gun is cute. I, I, just, I see it, I look at it, it's like, this is a cute gun. It's just cute, right? Peter thinks it looks futuristic, but that's because Peter's old. Um, so he thinks anything, <laughs> anything after 2019, he thinks is new. All right. I, I, I keep forgetting the inversion of the safety. So that's something you're definitely gonna have to train to if this is a gun you're gonna be really using. I like, I don't know, I don't know. I'm still a Mark, I'm still a Mark IV fan. I really, am. it's a Mark IV, or it was a five or a six. Do you remember? You don't remember, do you? Mm -hmm. I don't remember either. All the marks, there's so many numbers, it just gets all confusing. And then the Roman numerals, who understands Roman numerals? I don't. Anyway, <laughs> so that's the Ruger SR-22. This is just kind of like me giving my initial thoughts and impressions on it. I, I, thus far, the thing that stands out to me the most is the ergonomics. The gun feels incredible in hand, it really does. Um, as far as the trigger so far, I honestly haven't been able to get a really good read on it because I keep messing up the safety. So I keep getting a dead trigger when I'm expecting to get a live trigger. And then I'm like, wait a minute, is the trigger sucks? And I don't know. No, it's because I have the safety on. Um, and when the safety's on, it disengages the trigger and you get that that right there. I will say the long act, the, uh, the double action is actually, though it's heavy, it's not really heavy, but it's heavy. It's actually smooth. So I, I, it has that going for it as far as I'm concerned. So there you have it, the Ruger SR-22. It's a cute, little, fun, futuristic looking gun. According to Peter. Say cute one more time, please. Oh, shut up, Peter. Such a 
cute little gun. It's just cute. Look at it. It's just like, look, look. It's just a cute little thing. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself, hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by and issued to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.